Hi guys, welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to showcase a build that I'm playing in Path of Excel 3.8 Black League. The build that I'm going to showcase is a Dancing Duo Herald of Agony Pathfinder. So why we chose Pathfinder instead of uh, Necromancer or Ascendant? I personally like uh, the benefits that Pathfinder gives as it has a elemental ailments immunity and as well as a slower virulent stack and not to mention able to consistently sustain your flask as this build relies on a unit called the riding jar so you need at least two of these to sustain your dancing duo consistently so let's go into the main part of the build. So uh, there are a few record uh, there are a few mandatory units that you need for this build to work effectively. The first one would be our main engine for mob clear, which is the dancing duo reverse swap. This is the faded version of the dancing dervish. Dancing dervish only manifests once, but dancing duo manifests twice. So this basically this fated version has twice the DPS of the non-fated version so you need to get this uh, a good tip to know is that you do not need to link the sockets in the dancing duo for it to work you just need to socket in the, uh, the support gems so our next part the next thing that you need would be the writing jar so that you can sustain the rampage how you manifest the dancing dervish is by killing 15 monsters so we do that by at the start of the map or at the boss fight by using our flasks the riding jar to generate bones for us to kill basically you put down and you start killing the worms so once you kill 15 of them Dancing Dervish will prop. There, there's your Dancing Dervish. However, you need to keep in mind that every 3 seconds in a boss fight, you need to click the flaps so that you can safely sustain the rampage. Because once the rampage ends, the sword, the Dancing Duo, will revert back its, to the revert back to its original form. And you have to start the whole process of killing 15 monsters to, to manifest them again. So, as a Pathfinder, you'll be able to sustain this uh, this rampage very easily just by using two fasts. No need to use three like other other ascendancies. It's the main uh, engine for mock clearing. The so we went, we already talked about the desk duo and the riding jar. The next next unit that it's uh, highly recommended is the Groups of the Council. This uh, gives 20% uh, physical damage as extra cold damage. This is a very strong glove as it gives you 20% extra damage. And you can scale it with element and we are scaling the cold damage with elemental equilibrium. So to prop the elemental equilibrium, we use uh, Stormbreak. So we go into it later. So we cover the three uniques. Our second, our second engine for damage, we use the Herald of Agony to supplement the single target damage. As you know, uh, Cyclone, and uh, as you know, Dancing Dervish has a very good and fast clear, but for single target, it's a it's a bit slow. It has, doesn't have a lot of uh, damage according to the pace uh, um, according to the PO, uh, path of building uh, fully buffed and with elemental equilibrium dancing the dancing duo does about 200 uh, to, uh, about 250 to 300 k so uh, if you are planning to fight uber elder just with the dancing duo it will be a bit of challenge so we use Herald of, Herald of Agony to supplement our single target damage. So how do we apply our 
or poison stacks to generate the virulence for the Herald of Agony. Uh, we basically use this Stormbrand. Stormbrand link with poison support and lesser poison. For spells, you need to have at least one added chaos damage for it to start poison. So as you can see in my tooltip, uh, after scaling and everything is 2 to 3 chaos damage. So without any chaos damage or any physical damage to spells, your spells will not be able to poison even though if you have a poison support. So just please be careful. So I have 60% poison, 40% poison plus hair of only 20%. So in total 120%, which is more than enough. Which is more than enough. So and we socketed with faster casting so that it will prop even more so as you can see it activates every 0.34 seconds while attached so basically in one second it procs 2.5 times which is not a lot but if you pair it with the rune by the keystone you can have an additional brand attached to an enemy so basically you proc five poison stacks a second as after i did some testing five five stacks a second is not enough to maintain Herald of Agony at 40 stacks consistently. Uh, that's why uh, you need another unit, which I forgot to mention this now, which is the Golden Rule. So this one, it reflects the poison that you do back to you. So basically, instead of doing 5 stacks per second, you're doing 10 stacks of poison, which is 10 stacks of variables. Which is rare, which is sufficient for you to maintain the um, hair of Guinness stacks on just one target during boss fights. So, this covers our single target. So, I'll go over uh, the links and how you scale your damage. So, basically, how we scale our hair of agony and our dancing duo it's the Grips of the Council, which I've mentioned earlier 20% physical damage as extra cold damage we further improve our cold damage by using a hatred aura linked with generosity support so you with if you link it with generous generosity the aura will be more it will be stronger but it does not affect you which is good for us because we are applying elemental equilibrium through our storm breath and if we have cold damage it will it will backfire on us so basically, with hatred, with generosity, and the grips of the council, we are basically gaining about fifty-five percent uh, extra cold, uh, uh, about fifty-five percent physical damage as extra cold damage. So this is our main way of scaling, and this will basically boost your hero of any damage a lot with uh, just with the extra cold damage and the element equilibrium. So we link. Hero of Agony with, of course, peer support for clear. During uh, boss fights, you can swap this out for um, for uh, vile toxins because you are consistently poisoning the boss, and there, like I said, you consistently uh, stacking five five poison stacks on the boss, and the poison lasts for about two seconds. So if you put in vile toxins, it would deal about it will give you about 45% extra damage or you can put in so Bajal will be a good choice so uh, of course the, the main damage that usually before a 6 link usually go with a 4 or 5 link you will go with Hero of Agony supported with minion damage and damage on full life then usually it's pierce for, for clear for single target you add vicious projectiles when you have a 6 link of course you try to squeeze in uh, vicious projectiles and maim. Maim is good it's because it slows down whatever it attacks and what it provides uh, it will in, uh, the maim support gives you 14% increased physical damage if it's maimed if it's maimed by, by the hero of Agony so you're actually your blessing duo will deal more damage because blessing duo mainly does physical damage so it benefits it as well so this basically gives you a 35 percent increase damage increase for her of agony 
when if you are able to get your hands on an empower level 4 empower level 4 gives you 45 percent more damage so you can replace the main with the empower level 4 and you will have more damage so you can interchange your support with our toxin because you are consistently poisoning poisoning the boss as for the dancing duo of course uh, we use the new feeding frenzy support this is roughly about 30 percent more damage after the feeding frenzy buff but this is good as well because it, this buff it gives it also gives to your other minions so it benefits your hero really so it's if you are running more than one minion feeding friend feeding friends is a very good choice so the feeding frenzy buff gives you i think it gives you 10 percent more damage minion damage then 15 percent movement speed and 10 percent attack speed so it's very good for this in dervish and as uh, that is very it's a very good support gem of course the staple damage on full life minion damage and as uh, cyclone is a mini skill we use multi track support so that it attacks faster this is about 30 percent um this is about 30 percent increase attack speed you can replace this with uh, basically something else you can replace this with uh, added chaos or even minion attack speed but not this right if you don't use main here you use uh, you can put in main here so of course because we are scaling cold damage by using ele elemental equilibrium and by the hatred aura we also put in added cold damage support as uh, the base damage of that duo is very little every uh, flat added damage to dancing dervish uh, improves the damage a lot so this gives this gives about 70 percent more damage so basically this is the most important support followed by damage on full life minion damage and feeling frenzy so the last two is interchangeable we use ruthless as it skills mini damage every third every third hit i think ruthless yeah every third hit will be a ruthless bow and it's 132 percent more mini damage when we scale with multi strike because we attack very fast so we keep blocking the ruthless bow so we have a mini stun on basically most of the bosses that are not stun immune so this is a very good pair but let's say you feel that your attack speed is enough you can search some you can search this out for a uh, meme because uh, both of these gives rough this is this gives 30% more more uh, more damage for letting do and this gives about 45% so yeah so if you go into the POB you just can play with the spawn gems so basically that's it and the rest are just utility so I have to further increase our damage I have tried flash offering I've tried curses there's no one there's no uh, there's no one curse that fits everything uh, so I tried projectile weakness which only boosts the herald of agony's damage which is nice which is decent it's about 20% increased damage but I want to benefit uh, use the skill that benefit all so the, the best the best thing that you can do uh, for damage overall is by applying a giving frenzy charge to your minions to your dancing duo and your hero of agony so we use uh, race specters level 21 race specters which is very really cheap linked with mid shield support so that they stay close to you and doesn't join the battle and minion life so that it has more more life and it doesn't die so easily basically we use these factors carnage shifton as they will give you a frenzy charge so it gives frenzy charge as well so you can you have more cast speed which is more procs more well, poison procs and also give uh, more damage to your minions more attack speed and more movement speed so we Uses, we use three of them for consist, uh, consistent uh, friendly charge generation 
and we link it to blood magic support so that they can use their their skill off cooldown every time because if you don't link it with blood magic support they are, they tend to not use the skill as often so because the cooldown is six seconds when you link it roughly about six seconds they will use their, their skill again to generate friendly charges which is very good so for as for defenses we have steel skin we man we are manually cutting steel skin as um, it is best when because usually when you die we die to a, a one shot so basically if you link it with the cast link it with the cast and off that cast when damage taken it doesn't it doesn't just do anything so if if you at least you manually cast or you keep spamming the skill so every every six seconds you will get two points two point six seconds of like a buff that absorbs damage so I feel it's much safer and can control the timing as well and yeah that's about it and yeah, that's, it. Oh, that's all the links. So we have uh, Flame Dash for traversing uh, gaps in the in the maps, and also Convocation to to bring all your minions towards you. So this is basically the build. Our defenses is Steel Skin with a Quartz Flash for more dodge with uh, forty one percent. Flash effectiveness, we have about 14% dodge attack and uh, spell dodge and attack dodge from this flask. So, pair with acrobatics and face acrobatics, we have about 55% attack dodge and about 44% spell dodge. So, yeah, this view is quite squishy if he often gets one shot, but other than that, it has no downside because you can do almost all night mods. You can do physical reflect, you can do elemental reflect because our uh, Stormbrand does so little lightning damage. You know, when it reflects back, it we, we don't even feel it. And our minions are immortal, so they won't die from reflect. And we can do, can even do uh, less. Uh, the mobs, the map mobs that we definitely want to avoid, it's only cannot regen, cannot regenerate life, and chance to avoid poison. Because if if actually we can do it as well, is that our damage will be less. Because you when you when you have less chance to poison, you don't consistently poison, and you don't get the virulence stack up very high. So when doing doing boss fights, it has less single target but uh, T16 and below all the the map bosses basically melts with just dancing dervish it takes about 5 seconds for the dancing dervish to kill the, the the boss so if you add in like a 20 stack Harold or Agony it will just die even faster so that's it for the video I just want to thank you guys for watching and I want to apologize for the poor quality I'm currently recording using my laptop and the webcam uh, microphone is a bit uh, soft so uh, when I'm able to use my other microphone I will be able to improve the quality so I just want to say thank you again and please like and subscribe thank you very much